Welcome to the Crimson Tide Connection, your home for Crimson Tide Sports. And I'm joined today by the head coach of the Alabama baseball team, Mitch Gaspar. Coach, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Coach, you are now 22 and 16 overall and 8 and 7 in SEC play after the series against Ole Miss. It seemed like the pitching was there, but it just you couldn't maybe get some you know timely hits there when you needed them, taking Ole Miss into extra innings in one game. Can you talk about the series and what really was the difference there? Really, that that was the key to the weekend. I thought you know overall we we certainly pitched good enough mm -hmm. and we and we defended the field pretty well, but a lot of missed opportunities you know all weekend and uh, really beginning even with Friday night. You know we had bases loaded. A couple times we couldn't get ahead, but you really, you know, pinpoint Sunday's game where we had a lot of opportunities late in that ball game to extend the lead and to get that one big hit that, you know, could at least got you that Sunday win and, uh, you know, just wasn't able to get it. So obviously got to get back to work and, and try to get this offense moving this week. Maybe one of the bright spots to come out of that series was the play of Justin Campaign when he had his first start of the season, went five and two thirds inning, only allowed two hits. You have to be pretty pleased with him. Well, Justin pitched really good, you know, and we, we felt comfortable making that move because he's been good out of the bullpen, and uh, he gave us a real quality start on Saturday. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so, you know, looking for uh, Justin, a lot of those guys continue to uh, improve as we move through the SEC tough schedule. As you said, you know, the SEC, uh, it's, it's a very tough competitive conference. You're 8-7 and seven so far this season, tied for third in the West. How do you feel about your progress so far and maybe going forward to here in the SEC? Well, I think, you know, we were obviously really pleased going in into this weekend, uh, we certainly took a step back by getting swept on the road at Ole Miss. But I, I think the reality of our team is still, you know, it's weekend to weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to hit some roadblocks here and there, and uh, this is the first time for this team. You know, we're we're in this bit of a situation now, and uh, it's really just going out, play clean, stay positive with what mm -hmm. you got to do, play good baseball, and put yourself in position to be successful. Coach, you've had a great non-conference schedule playing teams like Louisville. You are 14 and nine against non-conference opponents and eight and three in midweek games. You got a midweek game this week. Just kind of, how important is it to kind of win this midweek game, and how, how does that kind of give you maybe some little momentum going into the series against LSU? Well, I think it's real important right now. Anytime you're coming off a weekend where you get swept, you know, mm -hmm. you, you want to gain some momentum on that Tuesday game. But I, I think more importantly for us, we need for our offense to come alive, you know, on this Tuesday and put some good swings and get some guys in a good place offensively. And I think that will do a lot, you know, as we move into the LSU weekend. As you talked about, you went on the road this past weekend, played number 18 Ole Miss. It seemed like every week in the SEC it's a team that's ranked in the top 25. This weekend you do return home, but maybe against one of the best teams in the country in LSU. They are, and they're, they're tremendous, you know, they, and you look across the board, they're, they're good in all phases mm -hmm. of the ball game, and, and, uh, and it's a veteran team, you know, that's been around, and uh, so we got a real challenge this weekend, and, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think for us, it's more, you know, we've got to get back in that good play, and, and we've got to be good in each phase of the ball game this weekend. Coach, maybe what's something going forward, maybe even into this series against LSU, what's maybe one thing that, you're, you, that you can point to? Is it timely hitting, maybe getting the hits when you got runners on base, or what is it that you need to well, really I, work on? I think when you when you play a team like an LSU, it's got to be everything you know that mm -hmm. goes into it. Obviously, we got to get good starting pitching. Bullpen guys have to come in and they have to do a good job. But there's no question we got to get the guys out on the base base pass, and then somebody's got to deliver that big hit. And it's like anything; it's very contagious, you know, with yeah. hitting. And if one guy can deliver that big one, all of a sudden now it just trickles mm -hmm. right down the line. So uh, I, I think, and that gives that the team energy as well. So really, that's what we're looking for: is just some good play throughout in all phases of the game, and somebody get. The that big hit and that'll jump start this offense for us. Coach, it's a big weekend with eight-day weekend, but you also have uh, a little anniversary that you're going to celebrate this uh, weekend. It's the 30-year anniversary of the 1983 team that made it to the College World Series with Dave Magadan and some players like that. Can you talk about that and maybe, you know, who are some of those guys that you're really excited to see come back? Well, you know, the, it's really a re reunion for all the groups, but obviously the mm -hmm. 83 team that went to the World Series, and it's going to be great to have all those guys back and bring those ba guys back to our stadium as well. And so it's going to be a fun weekend, you yeah. know, and, and having the guys back, I think they'll, they're will they looking forward to it as we are. And, and Coach Schallenberger and obviously Jim Wells are throwing out the first mm -hmm. pitch, I believe, on Saturday. So that's going to be good to see those guys right. back. And, and uh, so I think for all of our fans, and, and just Saturday is going to be a great day to be it a is. fan of Alabama. So looking forward to having all those guys back this weekend. As you were saying, it's going to be a great day to be an Alabama fan on Saturday. You can come to the football game at 2 o'clock, go over to softball. I think softball uh, – 
starts at 4.30, and then come over to uh, baseball at 7.05. So if you're an Alabama fan, it's a pretty great day, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to get your money's worth on Saturday. And on Friday night, the Tide takes on LSU at 6.35. You can watch that game live on Tide TV. Saturday night versus LSU at 7.05. Come out to the ballpark, but if you can't be here, that game will be broadcast on FSN. And on Sunday, you wrap up the series against LSU at 105. So it should be a great weekend. Should be. We're looking forward to it. For head coach Mitch Gaspar, I'm Chris Freeland, and that's it for this edition of the Crimson Tide Connection. <laughs>